Tomato this time. They would need maybe a scatter blast to go on top of this. It's a constant brawl on top lane. Yeah, it's a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. Right now we see uh, Meander just enjoying bottom lane a bit. Oh, they did okay. turn around. They finally get the uh, the kill. Tomato had been sitting low for a bit. And yeah, he he raced into the the spike line, but Panda is able to escape. And we'll take some of the attention of the creeps and pull them away. Top lane, Tomato he got four from wave. Sacred. Man, they are just making this look great. Need a little bit more damage. Have to be careful with these raises. They get the kill on Sacred, but Matthew will finish off Tomato. Yeah, even though falling. they're gonna lose two heroes, that's fine for them because uh, SF doesn't have TP. So both of them oh. died, sure, but they can both TP back to a lane immediately, whereas the SF, he has to run back to a lane. Some really nice, uh, nice news, but I like the way that right Picasso is playing this. He's like trying to stick around over here on the side so Moon Meander can't get that nice arrow. Teleports are coming down though, Bryo. Starts with the Rolling Thunder, making his way over to Picasso. Glimps back on Saber Light, but they still have these rolls going through. The arrow connects from Moon Meander. Bryo will be able to get the kill. Yeah, good rotation, good use of first roll there. Dubu. Just Dubu running in with this pattern. Away. They have the cookie hop forward into the cause. And the spike carapace will be able to slow him with that uh, battery. Impale soon. Going off. There it is, the impale, the scatter. One, two, down goes Dubu. Yeah, it's rough. Dubu wants to try and do some damage to battery assault, but if he gets too close, I mean, they have so much chase. His work here is done. He does get poked by Brial, and Dubu's also in the mid lane, so... I'm gonna try to, uh, grab a little bit of harass, but they have the avalanche. He's gonna see some teleports coming in. Brial jumping in as well. But this looks like a very dead Dubu, and this could be potentially a, a dead Pangolier, too. As Matthew keeping Taz, Panda Moo needs the vision. Only level one glimpse. It's not long enough range. A little bit closer. No, he's not going to be able to make Radiance it. Middle tower is under attack. Nice try there, coming in with the uh, Disruptor as well. Ooh, a good avalanche from Dark Mago, but they'll still be able to deny the Arcane Room. Now they'll use the Rolling Thunder. As top lane, Tomato dies again. Dark Mago, nice save here from Matthew, but the Swashbuckle from Brian will clean up. You are never going to be fast enough for me. Man, this game is turning out real brawly early on here. Crazy. Crazy, like hunted the way that Thunder Awakened out. Really targeted him. All right, watch the supports on the side of TSM. They're in position to break the smokes. Matthew leading the charge. He's gonna find Dubu. Middle of that avalanche. The hook out. Those cogs mean nothing to him. Moonlight Shadow's gonna get used, and they do have the amp damage over on Dark Mago, the Star Storm. But the snap fire just raining hellfire down over onto Saber Light. This is looking like they're gonna end up losing him as well. Fantastic fighting. I mean, Thunder Awakened just stronger right now. They TP out after Moon, and he can't do anything about this when the dismember goes through. Another bash on Pekaz. Does probably need some assistance. He's pretty tanky, but... Snap is coming. Still the feel cookie. A bit. Yeah, she is indeed. With Scatter Blast, Cookie says get out of there, big boy. Leap forward, though, from Moon Meander. They really want to close the gap. They do have the arrow. Dark Mago, though, getting a kill on Doom. It looks like they might... Oh, just a little bit off with that hook. He was trying to save him, but not going to be able to. Yeah, I'm fortunate there. A lot of these engagements for TSM, the, the arrows... Looks like they also want to put some pressure on the mid tower. Panda's gonna be over there first, followed up with Matthew. Tower looks like it's gonna go down. Hookshot comes in with the arrow, but the static storm landing over onto two. Brawl doesn't care too much, but in comes Dark Mago. He's gonna get bounced off thanks to that rolling thunder. A follow up now with Moonlight Shadow Panda. He needs some help. Ryle jumping in. A nice hook on the back lines over onto Dubu. Panda will end up falling. Now, fire kisses get used. They need to just be able to get this vision and close the gap. And Mago walking right into Saberlight. The arrow coming in this time. It lands from Moon Meander. And they will finally be able to get a couple of nice kills that they pretty desperately needed after. Oh, They're not really too slow. It's just TSM recognized that, okay, you chase five heroes down to try and get Saberlight. The fact that he baited them to come down there, they just used the most of it. Matthew playing around here. Does manage to sidestep on the hook shot. Good hit here from Saber. The Rolling Thunder is just locking them into place. They can't really do much of anything. They'll end up getting the kill on Matthew. They'll try to finish off too, but they'll be able to find it. Now we've got the snap fire. Because his hook not going to connect over onto Moon Meander. But they will push back. It didn't connect. 
No, Picard's on the bottom lane. He's gonna get scouted. There's the Diffusal coming in with the Rolling Thunder. You can see all the TPs are coming out immediately, though. A couple of these bashes from Saberlight will be able to hold Dubu with the status from the grab Ryo back. And that's gonna be the Aegis. Moon Meander also now stuck over here at the side. Now, Fire Kiss is coming in hot, but they have the BKB on Tomato. So Mago, he ends up getting bashed. He's not gonna be able to get out as Matthew forcing himself up to the high ground. Because does manage to finish off Saber Light. It's gonna be the follow up. Sacred goes with the cookie. Hop Tomato, he's messed up. He's gonna end up dying. And now Matthew still trailing after oh, Bryle. He's, kinda... he's got the Impale. They have the vision. This is looking very scary now for Bryle. He's gonna get slowed. He's gonna try to fight his way out, but he's not gonna be able to. It's a triple kill now for Picasso's punch. Oh, that is absolute disaster. Every single hero going down. I think four of them or they wanted. Looks like uh, Thunder now with a DD Arcan Rune Tiny. A super ready to fight. He has the BKB as well. Positioning from Picasso. There it is. The toss back. BKB immediately gets used from Saberlight. Because though, with that dismemberment, grabbing hold of Saberlight. So he's going to be able to survive this. Hook doesn't quite connect. We start to see Bryle with the Rolling Thunder because over on the back lines, Panda was just throwing down that static storm. Wasn't going to be able to quite get enough, but there it is. There's finally the final hit over onto Saberlight thanks to those snap fire kisses. Overall, very good by TSM. They own Save Light Season. Oh, yes, he does. Hook shot gets used on Matthew. Does have the four step, though. A nice avalanche coming out from Mago. Will slow down Dubu. Arrow landing over onto Sacred. Matthew trying to get out. Another four step who's still managing to keep him alive. The badge comes in, though, and now he looks like he's going to survive. This oh little Nyx assassin diving through the trees ends up getting the kill here with Saber Light. Matthew does eventually fall, but there's the toss back of Moon Meander. He cannot escape because he's got the BKB running. That will end up losing. Is sacred. It's a bit of a dive as Brawl does clean up on Panda. Certainly a bit of a dive. Thunder Awaken. This is the that psychopath level aggression <laughs> just going in. The tower doesn't really matter that much to these boys. They're just going for more. Oh my god, yeah, they just dive in, they see themselves tomorrow, they know that they can burst him down. They even tossing out the tips. You just have to expect that they're still there. The, these guys are so oriented around. Well, so get his courier though with the point booster. <laughs> Look at Mago. Mago wants this guy. <laughs> he blinks forward. He even uses the whip. The avalanche. BKB is going to get used by Bryle. Saber Light going to provide that back. Up. Matthew up. sitting on the bottom here. Nope. Oh, he can't reach him. Cannot quite get in there as there's the follow up from Dubu. The pushback onto Sacred. Has the cookie hop. Ends up getting pushed back though again by these cogs. So a nice hit from TSM. That's a good time to win a team fight. They check Roche as well as it could be spawning, but it's gonna be one more miss. So Saberlight immediately, but the BKB, he's able to punch that button quickly. BKB over on Mago though too. Matthew gonna get held over into the cogs. Nice follow up here over using that uh, static storm. They still were giving chase to Mago and they're not gonna be able to do it because Brawl, he ends up getting dismembered by Pukaz. He's just holding him into place. He's one more hit, then he will die. Matthew with the spike carapace, trying his best to do what he can. Does end up getting pushed back and they'll get the kill. Now Sacred already using those Mortimer kisses is gonna try to just back off and chase after positioning. They're playing around their pudge. They're making sure that, you know, he can get this farm, but they're also protecting him. As they do start to make their way across the river, Matthew needs to be so careful. They have a sentry where they expect this. Fight Carapace with the immediate fall from Dark Mago. Very nicely done. The dismemberment onto Saber Light. They're going to be able to rip him apart. And they'll get the kill on Dubu. Oh, the hook coming into play on Moon Meander. He cannot tell top from bottom. And there's too much magical damage. It's devastating. A triple kill now for Picasso. is over on the side. Dark Mago, he pops his own BKB. He has to be careful to gobble up the lodge of Picasso. Looking to see what he can do. He's got to try to get away as that's a beautiful Requiem coming out. And just has popped up Matthew. Looking to go again. They drag back on Brian. Oh, Brian, what a static storm. What a glimpse back. Tiny they all manage to toss back over onto Tomato, too. Oh, my goodness. Dubu is not looking like he's going to survive this. It's a team wipe for the side of Thunder. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. They, they team fight in such a good way. All of this is from the first. But, uh, yeah, against Nyx, you have to be very careful about this neutral item because now Nyx can stun Sable Light at any point in time during the fight. That's an initiation. Makes his way, who has some Matthew, sees Saber Light. And this popping immediately, the dismember, followed with the impale. Good hook shot coming in from Dubu, but it's not enough to keep him alive. Now it looks very scary for Dubu because he gets dragged right back here. Bike because he's just rotting in circles. 
And while this is going on, you can see Tiny, he is stunned. He's got the BKB. He's going to try to get out, but they have all the stuns. The oh, Goblins, goblins. though, coming out. Can they keep him alive? Yes, they can. Oh, my goodness. Sacred says, get down, Mr. President. Takes the bullet for him. Pudge is coming. Pudge is coming right back in again. Gets a hold of Tomato. The arrow does end up going through, but the stun was from Tiny. They're just playing so well. Oh, my God. What a sacrifice there. Sacred. Just flying in there, blinks in. He's got the refresher, or refresher orb, sorry. And the BKB, like, he's not worth it. He's not worth trying to expend all of those spells. Yeah, he's monstrous. I I'm not even sure if they could kill him if they had five heroes. Like, how long would it take to kill him twice? Oh, they dropped the sentry, but they're just too late because this damage does so much to Mato now. Nice Has hook. to get away from these Mortimer kisses. The hook over on the back line, though, because grabs up Ryle. Gonna be able to hold him into place, stun him. It doesn't matter that he's all rolled up because they still go with the refresher. Get the kill. There'll be no Pangolier for this high ground push. <laughs> Poor Briley gets refresher dismembered there with the dismembered damage talent as well. Cut through these buildings like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, there's just nothing TSM can do at this stage. How did they t stop this uh, this thunder, like the thunder five here? When they go together, oh the oh, toss back over onto Saber, light the dismemberment. They try to force him out, but there's a scatter blast. And Dubu, he tried to save him. He just wasn't able to do it as he's just taking so much devastating damage. Yeah, Sixteen hundred damage. On Saber light. Matthew poked. What, what is happening to Mato over here in the back line? They burn off his mana. He's not going to be able to get the Requiem off. He's just dead. Feels me off. to two supports. I mean, granted, Tiny comes in to kill Steel. Oh my but... god. Because he says, hey, Saber Light, where you going? Let's go fishing, buddy. GG gets called. Thunder Awaken looking so damn powerful in this game, number one. They're playing with such confidence and such aggression. I like the celebratory uh, Snapfire ulti there at the end. Some fireworks <laughs> to, uh, you know, really enjoy their win. What a performance by Pakas, though. I have to say at the back of this, like, 18-1 and 12 on Pudge. The most dominant Pudge I've seen the entire group stage. Absolutely a monster. I can see why you're saying Pakas on the Shaker, not on the Venomancer. So Venom is able to stay in lane, even getting some Magic Stick charges from this trade. So, like uh, no it's not CS, too bad. though. He's got one last hit and one deny. There it is. There's the Sinister Gaze that we talked about, plus the Harass the Boundless. Let's go and pop stick, but this is exactly what I was afraid of for the side of TSM. Yeah, they didn't manage to get the lane as far back from the start as I expected, right? Though. I think we'll probably see Mago be fairly. Uh, Fairly aggressive in rotation. Honda is kind of in an awkward position, but there's the jump down from Pakaz. Be able to separate nice fissure from Moon Meander. Panda drawing in again with the gaze. Get a couple more hits. Probably gonna end up losing Panda here. Is Pakaz gonna be able to get himself a kill though? Is the question with the boundless over on Saber Light? Needs to get a little bit closer. One more hit. Should be able to do the trick and he will be able to get it. But most likely going to fall down. Nice dodge though. Uses the fairy oh, fire Pakaz. Oh no, Moon Meander with that enchant totem will punish him for being very aggressive. As big for TSM. That bottom lane wasn't going too well. Oh, top lane, toss back. Top lane, Sacred, taking a lot of damage, and that's going to be plus two int going the way of Dibu. Uh, yeah, those curse points are doing a lot of damage in that lane because the Dawnbreaker always wants to use two spells, and it's just difficult. If you get cursed, you can't get out of it. Uh, oh. Panda canceling out the salve on Moon Meander. They will punish him. And then allow Picasso to have more time to farm. Yeah, Pakas would power crit. Have a couple of these stick charges, gets himself the wind lace, but they've decided we've had enough. We have to deal with Pakas. We cannot keep allowing him to do this. But sound the boundless though, trying to get some distance in the tower though, doing damage. Dark Mago makes his own rotation, the dodge away using that mischief. Boat comes in over on the back lines, and Moonmeander still will be able to get the kill, but they'll end up losing Saber Light. And now Dubu will be the next one to fall. Moonmeander, he wanted this kill, but now he's just gonna give Dark Mago a triple kill. Moonmeander. Uh, I mean, he does get the kill in the end, I suppose, with the Poison Sting there. Top to see a bit of a trade here between oh, the two heroes left alone. <laughs> that was funny. Dang. Over onto the right-hand side of the map. Trying not to stand underneath the sentry that he knows is probably over here. Oh, he might get the X mark. He sticks around. Yeah, he's found himself a Saber Light. He's got the boat. Moon Meander is getting into position. 
See if they can use the fissure to buy a bit more time. There's Tomato jumping in, but the Solar Guardian coming in hot from Sacred. We'll be able to turn this right back around again. The Boundless couple more hits Tomato. He's going to die. That Chain Frost getting some nice bounces. And now Bryle. Bryle, he should not be here because there's the follow-up from Matthew. Gets the Impale. They need to slow him down just a little bit. Don't quite have that Starbreaker just yet, but they're going to have the Hammer in just a moment. Sacred going forward. Starbreaker, they just blow up Bryle. And they'll still end up losing Sacred, but they are perfectly happy with us, I have a feeling. Yeah, that Look was at Matthew, amazing. he wants Dubu. He wants Dubu. He's gonna get him. Oh, runs it around the corner? Oh, oh. Maybe he's fine? Keeping no, th this looks bad, this looks bad. <laughs> Boop. Oh, Boop. Not. And then <laughs> digs up a bounty rune, oh boy. Even more gold. Moon Meander takes a slap mid two from the Tidebringer. A lot of damage. Middle lane. Boat coming in hot over onto Bryle. They'll use the Global Silence. Tomato though trying to fall up and this is. This is that Solar Guardian. Again comes in hot with the Starbreaker. Gets the heals off. We'll get the dispose from Tomato. So that's looking very nice for them. But now Moon Meander going in with the Echo Slam. We'll be able to finally take down Matthew. So a good response from the side of TSM is they're going to immediately smoke and make their way top lane. Trying to put the pressure. Lost one hero. So Tomato is certainly ready to fight. <laughs> they see Dubu. Dyer's Matthew. Moon Meander though in a good position to throw out the fissure to separate. Let's use a spike. Carapace, sacred. We could split up pretty far here. I'm not sure if Matthew survives this. This is a good impale, though. We'll be allowing uh, Panda to get the deward off, but they'll be able to get themselves a nice kill and get their own dewarding. Yeah. Meanwhile, Picasso cleaned up the creep wave top. They're not chasing for him. Marcy has no way to get close. He managed to get the stun. They break the tree. There's the sidekick and those hits, but again, okay, Global Silence coming into play. So they're gonna be able to cancel out the Dawnbreaker ulti, and Klaus is trying to man up, trying to fight. Boat comes in! Not gonna be enough to save him, but does put out a decent amount of damage as Dark Mago pops his BKB. Turns his attention now over to Moon Meander, but the Fissure coming in very well. Gonna be able to just block them off as the rest of TSM hiding in the tree like Mago, he wants this. Panda's got the Sinister Gaze, they need to get a little bit more damage to go and put down that Frost Blast. Need maybe one more hit, and they'll be able to find out. Tomato in a very bad situation because he's revealed himself, sitting at 30 something hit points. The hit comes through from Moon Man. They'll be able to get the kill on him. Oh my. And Dark Mago is just running around in circles. They even tip Tomato. They say, bro, what were you doing? Pretty much anybody could set up a fight. So it looks like a fight is being set up. They see Mago in the mid lane. Sounds like a TV cartoon show, Radiant but uh, yes, up. they're gonna make their way over to the buy Dyer's angle. We'll see Matthew. It's not necessarily who they want, but the Fissure landing over onto three is beautiful with the Echo Slam. They were not prepared for this over on the side of Thunder. So they take out Saika, they'll take down Panda, they'll find the kill on Matthew. They're trying to finish off Saberlight. There's a the global silence though, because having to run away, they're just doing too much of the punches from Tomato. So they'll turn their attention over to Mago. Panda buys back, wants to go in for the Chain Frost, drags Tomato back, but they've already lost the Kanka. What a fantastic team wipe for TSM. And they get in. Marcy doesn't need damage items. She does a lot with just BKB. Yeah, she creeps forward a little bit here. They do have the sentry. They ping out that they can see him. They will reveal that. Spike Carif is coming out immediately. It's gonna force Staff away. Tomato, he's in though. Gets the dispose off of them. Gets the eyes off. He's Over onto Tomato and he just can't BKB. He's just immediately taken down. No Tomato for this fight for 40 something seconds. Now Saberlight gets off the Poison Nova. They'll go get a big Arcane, but they'll finish off using that Chain Frost. And now Bryle does have the, uh, does have the Aegis. Dark Mago facing off of them, but over on the back lines, they're just fighting with Moon Meander. They'll clean them up. Global Science is gonna get used. And they are going to force them away. Buyback now from Matthew. They want to get back into this fight because looking, thinking about going for it. There's, oh no! It was just off the mark, and now Sacred, did he just feed? He is super dead, giving off that uh, extra int to Dubu. Not oh quite knowing God. their limits on that. They How's have it? vision over on Mago. Panda trying to protect him as much as he can, but there's not a whole heck of a lot that he can do. Could potentially throw out a chain cross if he feels like they're tight enough here in this corner. But the hit's it's coming out tanky. on Tomato. There it is, there's the Chain Frost, they group together, the draw over onto Tomato, but the follow up with the Global Silence is now Bryle is just bouncing back and forth, Sacred sitting so very low is going to fall, get the Wukongs off with this damage.
coming out, even though Pakaz has a BKB, they've got to try to lifesteal a little bit more. And over here on the side, Brown Loom's going to pop. End up losing Panda on the back line. Matthew looking not like he's going to survive this either. Boomy Ender taking hits from the tower, walking through the Wukongs. It's just taking too much damage. They want this final hit on Tomato, and they're not going to be able to get it. Tomato barely going to survive this engagement as a team oh wipe for the side of Thunder. I actually can't believe they turned that around again. That was a stun. They have the vessel on him, and he just barely survives on 70 hit points. Props to Picasso, though. I mean, he, he actually uh, mischief dodged a uh, Daedalus crit from SF there during all that, too, so did his best to stay alive. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, though, sacred. sacred. Uh, they're going to follow up with a boat, but still very, very dead. Now Mago is going to get disposed. Pops his own BKB. Matthew on the back line was looking for the impale. Not going to be able to go and line it up as the X marks the spot over on the side to Mago drawn back. Feels Shake like Thunder. Sure, soon. He's got the fissure. They've got the silence, and that's just dead, but Pakaz drops the Wukongs, does manage to bottleneck them a little bit over here. Not going to be able to quite finish off Tomato again, as Brile does end up getting halberded. Got the cross shield over on Pakaz, trying to keep him alive. He has the BKB, but he's fissure blocked over here on the side. Throwing out the chain pressing if they can just make them split. Over on the side, the mischief again. The echo slam over onto the back line, though they'll kill Pakaz, they'll find Panda, and they'll be able to collect themselves a Mago. That's the rune on SF. He's just too big and just manning up and fighting there. Even holding his beak for a very long time on Brawl, but Monkey Head a sacred goes into the back lines, but he doesn't manage to land the Stormbreaker. Boat coming through. He's going to whiff. So that's a lot of those big spells over on the side of Thunder. But they do not have. Panda still holding very patiently with that uh, chain frost. So if they group up, like maybe like this movie, they're jumping it over on. To Matthew. We'll get these chain frost bounces. It's gonna get a couple here. Can they do enough damage over to Tomato? That was a question. Global silence gets used, and Sacred just cut off from the rest of his team because trying to hit as much as he can, trying to stay alive, but again, Sacred just not able to get there quite fast enough. It's another kill here for Tomato. Panda and uh, they try to run back into this bit. They bought back on the Dawnbreaker for that Solar Guardian, and it didn't end up working out. And Brile, you can see here, just wants to finish. They call GG. They call it, they know when they're beat, they're down, no buyback on the Dawnbreaker, and GG TSM take, that's gonna tie up the series. Beautiful last fight there by Moon Meander, the blink reaction from Monkey King. Like, M Monkey throws out the ulti and immediately follows up with a stun, but the moment he sees those clone warriors running out from the Wukong's command, he blinks to safety there. It almost looked like he got stunned because it was, you know, so close that, uh, that Boundless Strike landed.